In this video, let's look at another basic concept in computer programming called variables. In algebra, when you say a variable like x or y and you say x equals to something, that is not the way to think about variables in computer programming. In computer programming, think of a variable more like a storage box where you can store some value, whether it's a number, text, or an alphanumeric expression. Alphanumeric means something that has both alphabets as well as numerals. Programming blocks that look like an elongated circle are variables in Scratch. So you've got some pre-created variables like a timer which keeps time or a mouse X which determines the position of, uh, of the mouse on the X axis or loudness. Then you can also create your own variables in Scratch. For example, in a game, you could create a variable like score and make your game more interesting by having this element of score. So let's look at Scratch to understand variables better. In Scratch, if you go to sensing, then you will see that there are some variables which are already created. For example, timer is a variable and what timer is doing is it's keeping time since the user clicked the green flag. So the value is right now 1.25 seconds. Then the value is now 4.7 seconds, 6.5 seconds. And if I restart, press the green button again and then check the value. Another variable is loudness and loudness is a variable which can take value from one to hundred and it measures the sound falling on your microphone. And what we can use loudness in very interesting ways. For example, if I go to control and I take out a if then statement, I want to see how loud the sound is that is falling on the microphone. And based on that sound, I want to execute some commands. But you can see that loudness will not fit in here because we want to check the, the equality or the inequality. So I go to operators, I take out this greater than operator and I put loudness inside and let's say I put the value as 30. So what I'm saying is that if loudness is greater than 30, then do something. For example, I can go to motion and I can say move 10 steps. I can go to looks and say any message too loud for maybe just one second. And then I can go to events, put a when green flag pressed. But if you will recall this, when, if I click the green flag, this will get executed once. And if the condition is not satisfied, nothing will happen. But what, what we want is that in the program, this condition is checked forever. So we have to go back to control and put this if then statement inside a forever loop. So now the instruction we are giving is when green flag is clicked forever check if loudness is greater than 30 then move 10 steps and say too loud for one second. Let's try the program. So whenever I clap if the sound is greater than 30 on a scale of 1 to 100 then these commands get executed. I can change the value, let's say I can make it 50 and I can test it. Using loudness, you can create some interesting programs like controlling the sprites based on how loud the sound is. In Scratch, under variable programming block, you can create your own variable. So for example, I want to keep score in some game, I can create a variable called score and then write a small program to say when should score be incremented. For example, if it's a shooter game and the, and, and, and the user shoots some, some object successfully, then the score will go up by one. In the next video, we will go back to our simple maze game and make it a more interesting game by adding scoring variable there.